I had a fear of death, which a lot of people do. I was yeah. like, well, this is wrong. <laughs> I, I, if I have a fear, I have to get over the fear. I have to figure out why I have the fear. And so yeah. I went, this is actually in university. I was fascinated by near-death experiences. And I read every near-death experience I could get my hands on. I would go into the library same. and pull books. And I had to, I wanted every story, every, I, I yeah. read Tibetan Book of the Dead. I was really big yeah. into Tibetan <laughs> Buddhism. I was practicing it formally for a few years. Oh, yeah. And I, I was like, what is this death? What is this? Uh, why are, what's happening here? Why does everybody die? And so it really helped me understand that we don't die. <laughs> We yeah. don't die at all. We are eternal. And this is just a, a blip in a moment of our eternity. And we forget on purpose because if you know all that you know, you'd be bored out of your mind. And so yeah. we go through these experiences of the one and we are one. This is oneness. This is the experience of oneness. And there's different facets of the experience. And we're shrouded and we have lessons. And we've designed our entire life. Our, we've co-created this design of how we're living our life, how we look, how we act, all the things that we have because we are trying to find some preciousness in this experience because yeah. the most uh, highest goal of attainment is really being present for that that uh, limit limited space of that you know in between breath beauty that is there and we're looking mm -hmm. for this preciousness that lifts us that is love right that it is what we are which is love and so it's supposed to be a fun journey ultimately <laughs> but i learned a lot from that i learned that people's beliefs shape what they see when they die uh, so yeah. to be very careful of what you think you know and to work on the ego is the most important task because if yeah. you have done that work then you won't come into your death experience with the illusions and Tibetans meditate their whole lives just to prevent that uh, illusion from setting into their minds so that when they die, they can experience the pureness of their uh, crossing over. So I feel I don't, I'm not afraid of it anymore. I think that the hesitation is uh, what we leave behind, you know, making sure that's all tidy, making sure our children are taken care of and our loved ones are taken care of and these sorts of things. Because when I broke down the fear, it was really all more about that more about what, you know, my legacy of what I was leaving here and what I was offering to people. And so that was easy to take care of um, and to focus on rather than special God at death, right? It's just like an intensity. Like we went through birth. That's a huge intensity, but we don't really remember that intensity and we're here. We're fine. Right. So death is just another intense yeah. moment.